Me and my friend drive seven and a half hours for video games. Welcome to Retro Carnage. So we traveled from Louisiana to Arkansas to go to the famous Game Room Trading Post. As famously seen on the Game Chasers. Anything in this store that you could think of, they had it. Uh, Box Super Nintendo, Box N64, a wall of uh, loose SNES, uh, a wall of NES. Like it was like everything you could possibly think of was in this store, and I was like starstruck uh, by the shit I was seeing. Uh, it was really awesome. I've, I've watched Jimmy on Game Chaser episodes numerous times, and he does live up to what they say in the video. He's an amazing guy. He just wants to sit there and talk about video games with you. Bubble's coming, dude. Quan X is coming. And honestly, I'm glad. Because, man, kids are wanting to get back into this old school stuff and it's too overpriced for them. It really is. Yeah. You go to conventions, man, everything's eBay price. Everything. Yeah. And I'm like, man, no, that's not the way gaming should be. Holy shit, the amount of stuff I'm seeing in this store. Now, at this point in my collecting, I'm mainly looking for Super Nintendo games. Uh, NES is also on the list, uh, and just a handful of Genesis titles. Now, actually, one of the games I picked out of the glass case is The Page Master, uh, based off the animated movie. It's actually a pretty decent game. Now Jimmy is doing a hell of a job of upselling me, um, especially with the Robocops. Uh, I wasn't intending on buying Robocop, and I ended up buying all three Robocops uh, on NES. No, what you really, really need, come on down here. Yeah, no, you didn't. You need that Robocop too. I've seen that in there. You need it, man. Uh, Dude, I got Robocop 1 and 3 on the wall. You need all three. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. See, and thing is, you need Genghis Khan. Give it to Jimmy, he does give you a good deal on things, and he did upsell the fuck out of me on that. Now, as I'm looking at the stack that's growing and growing, I'm thinking in the back of my head, this is gonna be expensive. This is gonna be super expensive. Now, I had a lot of money to play with, but it's still hard to spend a lot of money, uh, you know, at, at any given time on anything. So I was very cautious about, you know, what I was seeing and, and my stack was growing and growing and growing. And I knew I was gonna maybe probably put some things back, uh, but I just kinda kept on stacking as far as what I wanted and I'll go through it later to see what, uh, what I can get rid of and what I, what I don't really wanna get rid of, so. So as my stack grows larger, then Jimmy asked me, hey, you wanna go upstairs? And of course I wanna go upstairs. <laughs> well, I swear. So we started moving on up the staircase and I thought I was in shock before. There's even more shit up here. Sealed shit. Dude, the amount of shit that was up here. Yeah. 
So I've been trying to beef up my Genesis collection and what do I see? A wall full of Sega Genesis games. I find a few things. I find like a Tom and Jerry, um, an X-Men, a Sonic Spinball. Then I see a Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I know it's not the greatest game ever, but I, some, I love Dracula, so I had to pick it up. This game sucks, but I'm not getting it anyway. Dracula? Yeah, well, it's not that great of a game, but... Yeah, but it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. Set it right here, I'm just gonna put my yeah, stuff on right here. Oh, that's it, man! <coughs> I've never... We rummaged through some tubs and we actually came across a, a few Game Boy Advances. Uh, the Iceberg Game Boy Advances. Oh, man, I'll give you a couple weeks. Oh. 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 Same what I had. Hey. Same here, I had this one. So the Game Boy Advance actually holds a special place in my heart because that was the first system I ever bought with my own money. Um, I remember paying for the Iceberg Game Boy Advance and actually this game right here, uh, Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku. And it's just awesome to... Focus, 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 focus. So it's awesome to find a uh, Game Boy Advance like I used to have as a kid and super cheap and, and it worked. So the dude had stacks of Game Boy Advances in there. And the exact same box that we find the Game Boy Advances, um, my friend, he actually finds a Game Boy Color carrying case, which I used to have this exact same one. Yeah, which I, that, that, I think that's got all the time. It does. That's one, that, that'll actually be better. That one they made, that Extreme Beauty Power one for the 3DS, it was, it was all right. It had, but this didn't have all the fire. It had more. I thought it was like the jet or had more of these things. That's what had all the and I'm not sure why the fuck I didn't pick it up while I was out there. I should have grabbed it. Um, that that thing was just awesome, and he probably didn't want much for it. But it was awesome seeing it, though. Um, I definitely want to pick one up in the future. So I'm looking around, and what does my cameraman see? A flushy. But kind of weird controller. It's got a flushy from Freak Pads. It's one of those mutant, like, horror-themed controllers. Pretty cool, um, not really in on it, uh, I, I can pass, uh, I'm not really a controller collector. Um, only thing I'm actually looking for controller wise is like N64 Extreme Green, but it was still pretty cool to uh, see that uh, complete. I've seen so many 3DO games in my life. I've never heard of that ever. Like, I don't even have a 3DO. <laughs> But it's making me want to buy games for it. So a system I actually don't even have, but I've been collecting games for it because I can't find the actual system that works, uh, is the Sega Saturn. And something about the Sega Saturn is just uh, caps my eye. I don't fucking know. That's got it already. What about this one? Snowboard? Yeah, that's the better. No, I'm good. <laughs> Death Town 5. The second one. Good. Um, I don't really run into Sega Saturn games too often uh, where I'm from, so to see like a wall of things, uh, it was pretty impressive uh, just by the looks of it. It's fucking, it was bowling. This looks cool. Um, I, the games, I don't actually don't even know what's good and what's bad uh, for Sega Saturn. I have no idea. The only games I know are good are like Panzer Dragoon, you know, saga, but that's about it. I'm not gonna find that here. So what sparked my interest for uh, collecting for Sega Saturn was actually Space Jam. Fuck, I know, right? Space Jam is just a fucking awesome movie. I grew up with Space Jam, um, and I actually found that Space Jam at Retropalooza um, at the beginning of this year. So I, that kind of sparked the interest uh, of getting a Sega Saturn. So I'm still looking for a console, but for now, I'm just gonna pick up some games for it. Fuck you, battery. You're about to fucking die. I'm about to spend fucking crazy amounts of fucking money here. <laughs> Fuck me. God damn it. I'm scared to see the price on all this. Mm -hmm. What's in there? Uh, 
That's why I say we're smoking. So that's good GBA link, anyone? <laughs> There's I like 50 I in to, here. I needed that to multiply my muse. <laughs> multiply my muse. Yeah. I used to have one of these, and you were like the big shit because I was the only one in the house that had a DVD player. It's a sealed PlayStation 1 controller. Uh, no big deal. Ooh, DVD. So it's judgment time. I have to bring him all this shit and see what he says. Um, I'm thinking 400 for all of it. I got some pretty good shit in here, and it's a lot of shit. And I'm kind of nervous about what he's about to say because off camera was two Super Famicoms he's willing to do two for one price pretty much. And I need a Super Famicom. <clears throat> for all of this, both of them, 450. So we, uh, he hits me with a 450. Fifty dollars, and he's already knocked off like a hundred bucks. Boys, bucks. Every game that said 15, I'll five off. Without the Super Famicoms, you're looking at $370. It's a pretty good deal, but it's still $450. And I kind of just don't say anything. I kind of just nod and sit there. And then he kind of just did it for me and was like, I'll do $400. So I fucking immediately shook on it and I felt great, I guess. So I won't lie to you, man. Um, I, haven't, I haven't tested it. I feel these. a little sickly, but. So after spending all this money, we decided I should do some sightseeing and go to Hot Springs. Holy, hot. Oh, holy shit, it is hot. Right. Damn, that's gnarly. That now, we actually didn't spend too much time in Hot Springs. Uh, we kind of just walked around, took some photos, and uh, went and drove up a mountain. I guess that was kind of cool. So we had one more stop before we left on this trip, and that was a stop at Galaxy Connection. Um, it's a Star Wars museum slash gift shop. They had a bunch of vintage Star Wars stuff, uh, some replica props, costumes. Uh, it was really cool. The tour was pretty short. It was kind of a small building. Uh, it was still interesting to see. Uh, oh, check it out if you're in the area. So we're coming to a close in our trip and we're gonna head back to Louisiana. Arkansas has been great to us and we definitely wanna come back. It was awesome seeing the game room trading posts. It was uh, awesome meeting Jimmy, awesome seeing the hot springs, going to Galaxy Connection. I definitely wanna try to come back here again soon.